Uh, I want to talk about destroy the fruit of thy womb. All right, you can turn to, uh, I think it's in Isaiah chapter 55, where the Lord say, and say, uh, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, say the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. You see, God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts, in His ways. Ways are higher than our ways. See, they said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, say the Lord. You see, see, you know, people that, that like abortion people and all that stuff, they think that it's right to do abortion, you know, destroy the fruit of thy womb. But all of that's wrong. That's what I'm trying to show y'all. You know. But people don't want to hear the truth no more. Because their deeds are evil now. You know. They think that they have right to stuff. Well, this is my body. I do what I want to do. You know, do what you want to do. God created us. You know. Your body belongs to God. You know, you don't have no right to do what you want to do. You know, you're not supposed to, you know, straw the fruit of thy room, like to take life. You know, life and death belong to God. He has the authority to do that. You know. All right, you turn to uh, Exodus chapter, uh, I think, 21. Exodus chapter 21. Let me see. I think it's in Exodus chapter 21 and verse 22. It tells you, say, if a man, eh, let me see, if a man, if men strive and hurt a woman with child so that her fruit depart from her and yet no mischief follow, he shall be surely punished according as the woman's husband will lay upon him, and he shall pay as the judge determined. See that? See? Like if a man striving to hurt, hit a woman like in the stomach and while she is pregnant, see, he's supposed to be punished, you know, because he, he's destroying the, the fruit of thy womb. You're not supposed to do that, you know. It's like abortion. It's the same thing. See, all that's the same thing. What they're saying, yeah, it's like abortion, like a man hit a woman in the stomach, she's pregnant or something like that, and the woman lose her fruit of her womb. You know, baby, you know, come out dead, whatever. You know, that's like abortion. You know, he's supposed to be punished. This is what I'm trying to show y'all. You know. Verse 22 says, If any mischief follow, then thou shalt give life for life. You know, like if the woman die or something too. You know, it'd be life for life. You know, but people don't want to hear that. They don't read the Bible. Most people don't know the Word of God. You know, you know, or even trying to find out and they don't want to know. You know, but when the time come, you know, the Lord going to judge everybody and everybody don't repent for their sin. You know, we all have sin and come short of the glory of God. But like I say, you have to repent. You have to stop sinning. You know, you can't, like the Bible said, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, grace will not abound. You have to stop, you know. She steal. You know, one place in the Bible said, person steal, let them steal no more. You know, you have to stop. It's simple as that. God will pardon you, will forgive you for your sin. 
like what you say in Isaiah, I think in 55, where we were, you know, and say, uh, I think, no, uh, it might not be, yes, in somewhere I read it, well, yeah, in verse 7, it said, Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. See, he will pardon you for your sin. I forgive you for your sin if you repent, you know, and return unto the Lord. You know, no matter what you did, you know, except the one that blasphemed the Holy Ghost, like the Bible said, or Jesus Christ talked about, you know. But all our other sins are, can be forgiven unto men, you know. Even though the woman that had abortion still can be forgiven if it should repent. But if you keep doing it and believe in lies, keep believing lies, you know, it's like adultery fornication. If you keep believing that lie, well, you're just going to be lost. That goes for anybody, me, you, anybody else. You know, that's all what I'm saying. You know, God the one that have authority to take life and make alive. You know, you can turn to... Uh, let me see, yes, I think it's in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39, it say, See now that I, even I, am he, that, and that no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see? God say, kill and he make a lie. And he wound and he heal. That's all God's doing. See, God can do anything he want to do. We don't have that authority to do, you know. But all God's doing, he can do whatever he want to do. See? God say, kill and he make a lie. You know? Does God have the power to do this? Not us. You know, we try to do that. It's wrong. A lot of God said, ventures belong to Him. You know. So that's what you have to understand. And it's like you turn to 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 6. The Lord, the Lord says this. It says, the Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. You see, the Lord do that. You know, he kill it and he make it alive. You know, he can make you alive and he can bring it down to the grave. And he can bring up, bring it up. So he can go to Revelation, what Jesus Christ said in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 18. So I'll bring to y'all today Revelation chapter 1 and verse 18. Let's say, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. See? See? God kill it. You have the keys of hell and of death. You know, it's all God's doing. Just like what's all happening now at the end time with them four great beasts. You know. See, it's all God's doing because of the people's sin. You know. It's like God in the first Babylon. God put Nebuchadnezzar. That's why he's going to bring that Antichrist in. God put Nebuchadnezzar in there. You know, to punish his people. You know, like Jerusalem. To go into captivity. They went into captivity 70 years. And this time it's going to be three and a half years. You know, he punished the world back then for their sin. He going to do the same thing at the end time. All those nations. So like the first beast, second beast, and all that. And the, the, the fourth beast, 
you know, but subdue all those other three beasts. You know, you know, and like that third beast, there gonna be four of them. Then that little horn will come out of it and get with those ten king. He gonna subdue them other three beasts who he was with. You know, he ain't gonna have no more authority in the world. That ten king with that false prophet like I had a full authority in the world at the end time. You know, until a battle of Armageddon, then they gonna fight each other. You know, nation gonna come against him and be destroyed, just like in the first Babylon. First Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar took control for the seventy years. You know, his son, grandson, whatever. You know, then after that, they got destroyed. You know, kingdom got destroyed after that. The society is going to be at the end time. The Lord will come back. See, after the battle of Armageddon. You know, but that's what I wanted to bring to y'all today. But we're not quite yet at the end times. While the Lord said the end is not yet. When you see wars and rumors of wars, nation rise against nation, all this kingdom, and people will betray one another, all this is starting to happen now. It's like I said about with Donald Trump. See, it just betraying, start betraying one another. You know, they're going to start hating one another exactly what they're doing. Just like with the Democrat and the Republican, they're all hating one another. You know, marriage causing the marriage to be destroyed. You know, friend, kin, folks, and all being against one another. One believe the, one believe the Republican, the other one believe the Democrat. You know, that's just how it works. You know, by the being fulfilled. You know. But that's what I wanted to bring to y'all today. But the people can't see, you know, just like the Democrat, they can't see a lot of times, you know, because they are deceived, you know, and stuff like that. You know, that's all I wanted to show people, you know, how people are going to be divided, you know, you know, because of their sin, you know. See, the, the, the Democrat believe in an abortion. Same-sex marriage and all that stuff. Most of the Republicans don't believe in that, you know. They believe in the old way, you know, like following God's word. But the, the Democrats don't believe in that, you know. So that's what happened. Now they're divided. You know, a nation is divided. And that's going to get, and the wicked will take over in the last days, you know. That's just how it works. You know, they get more wicked and wicked, you know, just like a sin, sin, sin increase, you know. It's like, another, it's like a long time ago, all the black guys, most of them would obey the police officers. Now, that's why we're having this trouble with the police officers. Nobody wants to obey them all. You know, everybody think they got right, you know, right to do their right. They don't want to obey them all. That's why the trouble relies. They don't obey their parents. They don't obey nothing them all. You know, they think they got a right, you know, I do what I want, you know. That doesn't work in the society. It leads to violence and destruction, just like women. A women right want to be men, you know, and a lot of some men want to be women and all that. I got a right to do what I want to do. But it doesn't work. It leads to violence and destruction for the whole nation, for the whole world. You know. But that's what I wanted to bring to y'all today, but it could be... A lot of disaster and destruction coming because of man sin. They are divided now. Thank you all and may God bless you all and give you all wisdom and knowledge to understand God's word. Amen.